so today what we'll be doing is we'll be ranking all of the guns that are in Apex Legends, all of them, including the new 3030 repeater. So the ranks are pretty standard, S, A, B, C, D, D the worst is, uh, and then S is the best, and then this is my personal tier ranking. So if you don't agree, you don't agree. If you agree, good. <laughs> right. We are going to start all the way at the bottom here. So, Wingman. I would say C, for me personally. Because it's high risk, high reward, but I cannot use it. I don't know, I don't have skill with that gun. And that stupid recoil animation makes it harder to aim for me. So, it's down here at the bottom for me. Right. Uh, Volt SMG, next. S tier. Easy. Amazing gun. It got nerfed uh, in Season 8. It had 19 damage per bullet. Now it has 18. Amazing gun. Always gets me those Ws. Right. Flatline. A. So, Flatline is a good gun that I use on a pretty regular basis, but the fact that I can't put bar a barrel on it and then the spread is not, like, the bullets spread out, so sometimes they don't go where I aim, is a little bit annoying, but overall pretty good gun that also can get your wins. Right, triple take. A, good sniper, also some, some people call it a shotgun. It's a better shotgun than most shotguns in this game. But, yeah, integrated choke that could be switched off or on, depending on your preference. Good sniper overall, deals good damage. Yeah, you know. Right. I can't make out what... Uh, the, uh, the website sort of cut off the images. You can make out most of the guns, but... Some of them you can't. So we're going to leave the ones that we can't really identify to the end. Until the end. Right, next one. So we're going to skip this one. RE45. S tier for me. I know it's a pistol. It's classified as a pistol. But to me it's an SMG. And I'd say it's even better than most SMGs out there. It, it gets me those wins. I honestly prefer it over the R99. The R99. I know some people call it the best SMG, but for me it's an A tier. Just It has the highest fire rate in this game, and it's a go-to for most people, but for me it just doesn't do the job well. I prefer the RE45 over the R99 whenever I can use it. But overall, amazing gun, just not made for me. But I use it pretty regularly as well. Right. Next one. Prowler. Best SMG. No explanation needed. It's a care package gun at the moment, but even if it wouldn't have been, still amazing. And you don't even need that select fire. Most people don't most people use it on that five bullet burst mode which actually shreds people and you can kill people faster and do damage faster to other players. Definitely up there. Right, let's pick our next SMG. Do we have any SMGs left? Alright, we've done Vault, Prowler, R99. Should be one more. Alternator. A. Good damage, it got buffed recently, so the opposite of the vault nerf, it went from 18 damage to 19 damage per bullet, but the spread that it has, and especially when you've got iron, when you've got no sights on it, only iron sights, the iron sights are disgusting for me, but overall a great gun. Right, let's go on to the ARs. G7, C. 
No, actually, you know what? It's a D for me. I hate the G7. It's inconsistent, even with the barrel on. I can't hit shots with it. The double tap got recently got recently removed, but when it was in the game, made the gun even worse. And just just not a great gun overall for me. I barely hit shots with it, especially long range. One of the worst guns in the game, in my opinion. Right, next gun, R301, S tier, definitely. Best AR, I would say best AR for me. Considering Hamlock got nerfed slightly, R301 is always consistent, always hitting your shots, you know. Easy to find, takes light ammo, light ammo spread everywhere. You got that single fire anvil receiver, recently came back into the game, replacing the double tap trigger. I do not personally like the anvil receiver, but single fire, no anvil receiver, no hop up, is also amazing. And just overall a great gun, can, very consistent, always helps me out. Right. Oh, this is a no-brainer. Kraber, best sniper, no explanation needed, literally. <laughs> next question. <laughs> right, let's go into the next gun. Which one are we picking here? Uh, charge rifle. That's I'd say I like it, but it's a B overall. If we're being realistic here, it no bullet fall off, drop off, whatever. What's it called? Like, you know, the shots go where you aim them. No bullet drop off. No bullet. Was it? It's like travel. Fall off. Travel. Whatever, man. <laughs> right. It's it's a it's good. It's consistent because your shots, if you have good aim, you'll do a lot of damage to people. When it only hits people for a little bit, like when you only sort of like you know hit like the enemy's like leg or something, or like briefly do damage to them. Not that great of a gun. It keeps shooting for three, for six, for nine, but not that much. You have to be very precise. It takes skill. But it's overall, it's very balanced. And it takes skill, but just not that great of a gun in terms of damage, but certainly easier to use. What are we going to pick next? Hemlock. A tier for me, unfortunately. Got nerfed. Was way better. I prefer the... R301 over a hemlock, I'd say. Sometimes it's hard to control. You can use it no way to yes as a prowler, technically. It's only a three burst bullet, I think. I'm not sure. Or a four bullet burst. But yeah, pre nerf was the best, one of the best guns in the game. Right now, not that great, but still good. Still, people use it long range a lot, especially on that single fire. Right. L-Star, not that great of a gun, the muzzle flash and the spread of the red balls of death, as I call them, are too big, it's very hard to hit people unless you are like extremely up close to them, like shotgun range. Manageable, if you're playing Rampart maybe, you get that, you get that buff get more time before before it heats uh, heats up and yeah not that great of a gun but still it's good in some situations maybe like early fights if that's all you have it's people with no armor and you're fighting up close got gun to use but otherwise won't carry it on me I don't have that many guns left. What's the next one? Eva A. Eva A shotgun. Worst shotgun ever. Double tap or no double. I know double tap is not in the game anymore, but double tap, no double tap. Either way, trash gun. Put all the best attachments on it. Purple shotty ball. Doesn't matter. Inconsistent. Takes so much time. 
before the next shot is available to you. I know they buffed it from 2.0 to 2.1, but it's only a slight difference, and it's I don't think it will make any difference, actually, in the game. Worst, one of the worst guns, if not the worst for me, personally. Mozambique is actually, right, the next, the, as you've realized, the next one, I just picked Mozambique, is actually going to go A tier for me. No, B tier. A tier was a little bit too much. Mozambique is way better than EVA. Way better if we're comparing it. Hammer points goes up to A. Base, B. Especially when you have that digital thread on it, makes it way easier to aim. It used to be three shots, it's four shots now. That change wasn't made in season eight, it was made way before, but still. You can do some pretty good damage with the Mozambique, even if you don't have hammer points, actually. It's a good follow-up weapon, definitely. P2020 is actually gonna go into C, even though you can also put hammer points on it. I would say Mozambique does way more damage with with hammer points than P20 does. And P20 on its own with no hammer points is not that great of a gun. Especially on controller because that trigger finger is very, is, you know, you got to have a very muscly trigger, trigger finger to always like spam it fast, you know, and do consistent damage. And it's hard to aim. And when you put sights on it, it definitely, uh, like... Is harder to aim than without the sights. So, overall, hammer points maybe would go up to B, but without it, C. Still, be still better than the G7. Still better than the EVA, I would say. All right, Spitfire. Before season eight, before the nerf, E was up there for me. It, it would have been S. At the moment, it's B. It's good. It it can take fifty five with 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 the purple mag, fifty five bullets in a clip. Amazing. But they nerfed it in terms of the reload reload time. They increased the reload time, whether it's empty or not. Well, if it's empty, that should takes longer than if it wasn't empty to reload. So in tight end situations, not that great to use, but still a good gun. Something that should be used with a Gibby or a Caustic because you can spam that 55 bullets and just stand in front of someone because you're fortified, you can take more damage. What was up there? Pre-nerf? At the moment, that's where it is, B. Devotion. I hate devotions. Turbocharger, no turbocharger, barely makes any difference. Very hard to control, even if you have a barrel on it. I hate the devotion with all my heart and soul. It's I'd rather have no gun than have a devotion in my inventory. Absolutely hate it. One of the worst guns for me. What do we have left? Peacekeeper? Best shotgun, choke or no choke, it's easy pick. Everybody knows it's the best. Unfortunately, it's in the care package. Everybody has been asking Respawn to put it back in the normal loot pool. Not ha Didn't happen this season, unfortunately, but still one of the best shotguns. Very easy to find. Usually, in most care packages, there will be a peacekeeper. Right, what can we identify? Mastiff. I really want to put it to S, but it's an, it's an A. Mm. Maybe B. Nah, A. And I'll explain why. Because it's inconsistent. It had... It still actually has that problem where you'd be doing damage... For, like, you'd be doing, like, 10 A damage to people up close. But every once in a while, you hit them and you hit your enemies in the chest and it does that sweet 116. 
or maybe a little more. And you can two-tap people, actually, with it if you get lucky. It did get nerfed because people used to use it long range to do a lot of, like, small damage events. Did I phrase that correctly? Yeah, they would, like, consistently hit people for, like, 16, 14 over, like, a long range and finish them off or knock them. They did nerf that. But, yeah, overall, great gun, if you know how to use it correctly. Havoc. Havoc is a B for me. They keep changing the recoil pattern. No turbocharger is hard to... If you have no turbocharger in that, it's very hard to use it. I'd say you need to know when enemies coming up on you. Because high tense situation... It will take three hours to rev up that engine, and only then it will shoot. That's one of the main problems. And you can't put a barrel in it, so you can't really... It's not a mid-range. I'd say Havoc is just a very powerful SMG, in my opinion. I honestly just hate everything that you can't put a barrel on. Longbow, C. I used to like it. Not so much anymore. Hard to hit shots. And overall, just don't like snipers, really. Over a long range, though. Like, short range, mid-range mid sniper, I'd love to use. Triple take, I put, like, one hollow in it, and I shred. I love it. Longbow is more of a long range, but compared to, like... Like, charge rifle and triple take, they take the lead on this, unfortunately. Sentinel is gonna go A. Amazing sniper. If you know how to use it correctly and if you amp it, if, you, if you're not afraid to use, to spare those two shield cells, and you have really good aim, and you have something like a three times or a Four times hollow in it. It's an amazing gun to use mid range to long range. And last but not least, the 3030 repeater, the new gun. And I know people are probably going to hate me for this or highly disagree with me, but it's one of the worst guns. If not the worst gun, Respawn added a shitty gun to the loot pool. And a lot of people like it, and a lot of people can use it. I can't use it for shit. It's a um, slower rate of fire G7 for me, and we all know I hate G7. That's why it's down here, the D tier. 30 30 repeater, even though you can charge it up like a choke, although it's not exactly called a choke. It's just like a charge up. I absolutely hate that gun. And... Considering this is the new season, this gun is everywhere. Because the the games always do that. The Fortnite Apex, you name it, new gun came, comes out, they up the RNG drop on it. And it's everywhere, and I don't want to be carrying this in my inventory. So for me, actually, just made up my mind now, worst gun in the game, 3030 Peter. They couldn't have added any gun that's worse than this. Anything else would have been better, literally. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Tried it out. Didn't do damage at all to people. Or, like, insignificant. Maybe it's very... It's, it's, maybe it's really useful for people who have really good aim. Like, extremely good aim. Like, like, like people who practice on an aim training app. Like, every day. And... Probably I'd say this gun is made for mouse and keyboard players, not for controller players. So yeah, that's my ranking. Love it or hate it. As usual, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and check out my Twitch channel. I'm live pretty much every day playing Apex, either with randoms or with friends. So check out my Twitch channel as well. Be, everything will be in the link down below. So that's it. See you in the next one.